What are the top three things you need to remember to be a resilient online dater? I am going to tell you because I want you to succeed in online dating and you can when you incorporate these three things into your mindset, your belief system, your knowledge, you can be very resilient in dating and that will get you to what you want in your romantic life and that's what I'm all about. Well, who am I? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach, licensed social worker and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. So I'm going to go through the three things you need to remember and to incorporate in your online dating so that you become resilient. And the third is the most important, so stay tuned for that. Let's get to the first thing you need. You are only looking for one. You know that you're only looking for one, but going through the process of dating different men gets frustrating, you feel it's time consuming, you feel it's getting you nowhere. If you remember that how things work in life, generally speaking, are that we select out for things that don't suit the needs, fit, work, etc. to get us where we want and that is how it goes and how dating can go as well. We want to use statistics in a way to help you understand about only looking for one. Statistically speaking, if you go on 100 dates one of those people in there would certainly be a possible fit. But we don't want you to go on 100 dates. That's not what I am saying. I'm saying that each no in life gets us to a yes. And we have to understand that things don't go in a fashion of the first one I meet is going to be the one, but it could be. But if you remember, I'm only looking for one, and this someone that is not right for me is a no, I'm that much closer to my yes. So that's first and foremost. Second is you need a great sense of curiosity so that you can data collect. Curiosity about the man that you are online and corresponding with, why he might be doing what he's doing, what could be the reason behind it, and if you watch me here, you will find out many of the reasons men do what they do, and it's typically not out of something nefarious or negative or that they don't want things to work. They want things to work too. They're just doing what they're doing, but when you, as the woman, have an understanding through your curiosity, you can collect data on, well, I understand why he may be doing this thing that I'm really not keen on. Let me help and move him towards something that would be better. This is what my One Love program is all about. One Love, online to never ending love. Seven simple steps to digital dating success. If you don't know about it, please look at the links below and I will put how you can find out about it in a pinned comment. But it's very, very important because it's a game changer for women who are struggling to find their one online. You need to be online because online are where men are and I have many videos here outlining a number one app to be using and things that can hold you back because statistically they're not helpful. So let's get to the third and most important way and spend some time talking about this thing that will hold you back more than any other. And that is confusing or correlating a man's dating skills with his relationship skills. We think about it generally that if a man is a great dater, then he is good in a relationship. And let me tell you, these two skill sets, relationship skills and having the ability 
to compromise, face issues, be supportive, be loving, be present. These are a set of skills that generally daters do not necessarily possess. And women generally confuse the good dating skills, which are, I can make a reservation. I know how to behave and act right when I'm out socially. I say and do the right things. I am charming. I know how to order off a wine list. I know how to throw my credit card down and not make any fuss about paying the check. I know not to say just hi in the initial online reach out. All in gradation, of course, but you get my drift, hopefully, that what a man can present through his correspondence with you online may not at all show his skills in a relationship, but because we tend to judge on how a man dates, we can end up getting good daters and those men cannot have the skills in relationships. Better that we have men over here that have great relationship skills and guide them a bit in the dating. That will get us more of what we desire and deserve. And with that understanding, can have much more resiliency in sticking with online dating. I again talk about this and delve into it in my one love, Online to Never Ending Love, Seven Simple Steps to Digital Dating Success course. It's on my website. You can go there now and you can have it at your fingertips because the guiding of the man to what is necessary in dating in a feminine, open way that's not directive, but it is assertive so that a man knows what we want because you must understand this, that in online dating, which I call the wild west of dating because for many, many years, men have understood how to approach women and date. And then online appeared. And because there is no set of rules, how to's, and any experiential knowledge from the past that men could look at and know and be directed to, they don't know what to do. And they have been taught through the process of online dating that they don't know. Meaning, one woman wants 25 texts and to never get on the phone and have a pen pal type of relationship before ever meeting. Another one wants to immediately cut to the chase. Are we going to meet? And she'll meet right from text. Another wants phone calls. There's a difference between long distance, uh, meaning three hours or more, two hours or more away, and someone right in an area. One woman wants to just go for a coffee and another wants a four course meal for the first meeting. Men are confused. They don't know. And my course, One Love, teaches you how to be okay with it, a bit directive with it, but in a feminine way that's authentic, easy. I give simple statements there, the texting templates, how to move him from text to the next step in a way that he will be grateful for because his online dating skills are likely not even his normal organic dating skills. And then if you're judging him on those, you will miss out on these men here that are good in relationships. So please take that one, number three, under advisement more than anything because it is significant and will hold you back. You must have a sense of curiosity and data gathering for yourself to be a bit of a detective and help a man out to give you the information you need. You're only looking for one. 
Yes, there may be some toads that you got to kiss along the way to get to the prince, using an old metaphor, but every no is you moving closer statistically to a yes for yourself. And then not confusing or combining dating skills with relationship skills and understanding how you can move a man who has a wonderful character. He is great at support. He is loyal, faithful, reliable, responsible, and will be there for you. But he didn't learn good skills in dating necessarily. He may not have been uh, mentored in that way. And certainly with online dating, he doesn't know because there's no long line of tradition about it and each woman wants something different. So he takes a path of least resistance and then that leaves you feeling like you're holding the ball or you just get frustrated that he's not acting in a particular way. My course, One Love, solves that. So I hope you will take a look at that there. In the meantime, hold on to these three ways of being resilient. Use resiliency for yourself by saying, I am resilient and finding my perfect match, my one, my one love through my perseverance, using it to prevail, to get what it is that I desire and deserve. And that in turn will give my love all he desires in return. Any questions, put them in the comments below. I tend to get back to everyone who makes a comment. If it's at all appropriate and related to the topic, may not be right away, but I do get back to you and will answer your question. If you like this video, please give it a like and I will do more on this topic and subscribe to me if you have not hit that red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I will see you next time.